Today we're going to show you how to use this transfer to take a mirror and turn it into a piece of art. To paint today's project with a mirror, I'm going to be using DIY White Swan. It's going to take about two coats, allowing for two hours of dry time in between. And the awesome thing is this paint is minimal to no prep, which means I just wiped down my piece and painted, no sanding involved. This is a metal piece, so when we go to distress it, we'll be using a wet distress. All right, so we're going to get started with the wet distress. Just damp cloths, warm water works great, and you can take as much or as little off as you want. Jamie's going real wet. I like to wring mine out a little more because it sat overnight, so it's a little bit harder to get off. If you wet distress before it like sits overnight, it comes off a lot easier. And the reason we're wet distressing the metal where you, you can sand it, but you're gonna remove some of that detail, it's gonna get real shiny. Whereas this is black underneath where we painted it and we don't wanna go all the way down to the metal. We wanna leave that black finish on there so that there's some good contrast. The other thing I like to do is keep one side of my rag dry and then go over it with a dry rag because sometimes it gets kind of muddy with the paint and it doesn't get all the way off. So I wet it and then I dry it. Next step, DIY clear wax. We'll link our full tutorial on waxing below, but really it's simple, especially on decor. I'm just gonna put this wax on there, give it about half an hour, buff it off, and we're good to go. All right, so we're using Sprayway glass cleaner. It foams, that's why we like it that way. If we're doing a vertical surface, it stays on the glass. Just gonna give this a quick clean and spray this down. And a lot of people ask us why we don't bother taping off. And because by the time I get this scraped off, it's going to be less time than it would have taken me to tape it. Usually with tape, I always miss a spot here and there anyway that I have to scrape, so might as well just do one process. So if you wanna tape, you can totally do it that way. We just find that it's easier and faster when we have a bunch of projects to do to not worry about taping it off and just knock it out like this and scrape it off when we're done. Now that the mirror is clean, we're gonna be adding the transfer. I'm just gonna tell you this is considered off-label use because they are made to go on surfaces that can be sealed and you cannot seal a mirror. However, I have done it, never had problems. You're not gonna be able to scrub it. Think lightly dust, occasional spot clean on the mirror. No if you don't scrubbing. want it to be reflective, you could totally seal it. Yeah, that would be weird. I don't know what would stick. So anyways, just disclaiming that. But I absolutely love IOD transfers on mirrors and I especially love the colored transfers. And this one is fun because it has some colored and some black and white. And it's so big, we I don't think we'll use the whole thing on the mirror. So it's pretty big and we'll wind up cutting off some of it, but we will save that and use it for another project, either small home decor or furniture. That's the great thing about these transfers. They've got a grid system on here so you can actually figure out how big you need, cut it off and never waste them because you'll always find another use for them. Actually, it's probably gonna take the whole thing. I it's, lied. It's a big mirror, so it looks like the whole thing's gonna fit on there. Nice. It's best to do this indoors. The backing is not attached. They've done that so that they can do the different adhesive that they've got on there on their newer transfers that work a little bit better. So it's not stuck. You can just peel it right on off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna have just a tiny little bit of excess we'll over here. But I think once we get the transfer on, it'll just peel off and it won't matter. The reason being he said don't go outside is because you don't want it to blow on itself and if it sticks to itself, you're done because it's sticky. All right, so a little long on that side. Looks like we're committed. It's stuck already. Yeah. <laughs> but it's nice and straight. That's okay. We're gonna lose a little bit of these flowers here and just a little bit up top, but I'm just gonna kind of lightly go over it, make sure everything's kind of tacked down. Mirror is one of those surfaces that it sticks to really well, so you probably want to hold it up and then set it down because, yeah, once it touches, you're done. Yeah, I wasn't able to reposition. And it's a good idea to kind of just one and done on any surface because if your surface has any kind of dust or anything, these can only be peeled up and stuck back on so many times and then they're not going to stick or they're going to be stuck in the wrong spot. So. Your surface should never have dust. Yeah, make sure it's dust free. We know that, don't ask us how. In the container, you have this little applicator stick. I'm just gonna go over the entire surface real quick here, trying to get out any air bubbles or anything like that. The transfer we're using is a 24 by 33 decor transfer and it's Midnight Garden. You can purchase this at jamierayvintage.com. All right, so I'm gonna start in a corner, just try to get this broken loose here and get it free.
So you can see where the transfer's lighter, where it's adhered well. And I'm just gonna ride that wave and just peel the whole thing up off of here. So our final step is gonna to be to burnish. I have a lint-free rag, and I'm just gonna come over the top of this, and you can hear that there's still little bubbles in there, and you wanna push it down fairly hard, especially along the edges, make sure that it's all secure, and there's not any areas that are gonna pull up. In this case, it's especially important because this is not gonna be sealed since it's a mirror, and we wanna make sure that there aren't any edges that aren't pushed down. I love the way this looks because I feel like it could go in a boho house, it could also go in a farmhouse, and it even has a traditional feel to it. So it's really a transfer that can be used in a bunch of different decor situations. And it takes a basic mirror into a piece of art. This is a quick, easy video. If you're watching this right after we air it, chances are that we're in Hawaii on the beach. Hence my shirt, Meet Me on the Beach. We just wanted to give you a quick video while we're out of town to let you know that we're thinking about you and showing you some new ways to use a product. We said earlier, but I want to reiterate, this is off-label use because you can't seal it. But I've done many mirrors like this and they hold up well. You can also use it on salvaged windows. Probably the most important part on doing this on the mirror, making sure the mirror is clean and burnishing it afterwards. That'll give you a good long-lasting result. Products used today are DIY White Swan, Clear Wax, Paint Pixie Wax Brush, and the Dusty to paint it on. And then the transfer is Midnight Garden by IOD. You can pick up what you need for this project at jamierayvintage.com. If you like this video, be sure to share it with your friends, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.